changes the past. Our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stony blast and our eternal home. Beneath the shadows of your throne, your saints have been well secured. Sufficient is your arm alone, and our defense is sure. For eternal God and Father in heaven, Father, it is again that we come before your throne of grace. Father, we come with the privilege and power granted the true believers in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are thankful and we are grateful, Heavenly Father, for this opportunity to humble ourselves before your throne of grace. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would be with us, guide, and direct us with thy Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we ask, Heavenly Father, that you would prepare our hearts and our minds as we enter into the hour of worship. For we give glory and dominion forever and ever to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Help us, O oh Heavenly Father, to hear and to receive the Word of God, which is able to strengthen our souls to allow us to walk worthy of the vocation for which we are called. Father in God, we pray that thou would make us perfect to walk in the vocation for which we are called. We pray and ask that thou would strengthen us, Heavenly Father, where we are weak, and build us up where we are torn down. Father, we pray and ask that thou would establish us upon that solid rock, which is the Word of God, which is Jesus the Christ. And Father, we ask that thou would allow us to enter into your rest, the rest that was set forth and established for us from the foundation of the world. Have mercy upon us as we come this morning. We stand firm in the faith, Heavenly Father. Have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Thy feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For I rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. 